Hi, my name is Garvin. This film is on actinel. So actinel, or the chemical ingredient, resodronate sodium. You take these tablets first thing after you get up in the morning. You swallow the tablet whole with a large glass of water at least half an hour before you have your breakfast. You remain sitting or standing upright for at least 30 minutes after taking the tablet. So this is very important, that's why I said it first. So why do you take actinil? Actinil is a biphosphonate medicine and is prescribed for the treatment of two conditions which affect the bones. It is prescribed as a treatment for thinning of the bones or osteoporosis and is also used to prevent bone damage in people with Paget's disease of the bone. So how do you take actinol? You take the tablets exactly as your doctor tells you to. There are three strengths of actinol tablets available. 5 mg, 30 mg and a 35 mg. The 30 mg tablets are prescribed for people with Paget's disease, where people being treated for thinning of the bones or osteoporosis will receive either a 5 mg or 35 mg strength tablet. Depending on which strength of tablet you are prescribed, your doctor will ask you to take either one dose each day or one dose each week. As a guide, if you are given a 5 mg or 30 mg tablets, these are taken each day. If you are given 35 mg tablets, these are taken one day of the week only. If you are unsure about how often to take your tablets, ask your pharmacist or doctor for further advice. So you take your tablet first thing after getting up in the morning. Swallow your tablet whole. Do not crush or chew the tablet. Take it with a glass of water at least 30 minutes before you have any food or other drinks or medicines. It is important that you remain sitting or standing upright for at least 30 minutes afterwards. This is to stop the tablet from getting stuck in your throat or doing any damage before it reaches your stomach. If you forget to take your tablet first thing in the morning, you can take it when you remember later in the day, provided that you do not eat food or have anything to drink during the two hours before you take the tablet or during the two hours after you take the tablet. It is particularly important you do not have any milk or any drinks containing milk during this time. If this is not possible or if it is getting near to bedtime, then do not take a tablet on that day. If you normally take actinil each day just carry on as usual the next day do not take double dose to make up for an earlier missed dose if you usually take actinil just once a week then take the missed dose on the following day and then take your next dose on your usual day of the week if you're taking actinil combi this is a combination treatment which contains resodronate sodium tablets which is actinil and sachets which contain granules of calcium and cold calciferol. It is a treatment for women. You will be asked to take one tablet on the first day of each week and one sachet of the granules for the other six days of the week. Following the, follow the instructions above for taking the tablet. To take the granules, dissolve the contents of one sachet into a glass of water, stir it to mix, and then drink it as soon as the fizzing has stopped. Foods which contain spinach, rhubarb and whole cereals can prevent you from absorbing the full amount of calcium. It is best to avoid these types of food for the two hours before and the two hours after taking the granules. Never take actinal tablets on the same day as you take the sachets. So getting the most from your treatment. Do not take any mineral supplements or any indigestion remedies or anything which might contain iron or calcium during the two hours before and the two hours after taking actinol sodium. This is because these things interfere with resodronate sodium and stop it from being absorbed by your body. Also, you should never take resodronate sodium tablets before you get out of bed in the morning or at bedtime. Remember to keep your regular appointments with your doctor so that your progress can be monitored properly. Good dental hygiene is important during treatment with this medicine. This means that you must brush your teeth regularly and have regular dental checkups. You should also make sure that your dentist is aware that you are taking resodronate sodium, as some dental treatments may not be recommended for you while you are taking the tablets. So treatment with resodronate sodium will last several months or longer. Continue to take the tablets until you are advised otherwise by your doctor. 
it may be necessary for you to take supplements of calcium and vitamin D alongside this treatment. If so, your doctor will prescribe these for you. If you buy any medicines, check with your pharmacist that they are suitable for you to take. This is because mineral supplements, as I said, iron preparations and some indigestion remedies reduce the amount of resodronate sodium which your body absorbs. This could make your treatment less effective. So eating a well-balanced diet and taking regular exercise can help your bones stay strong. Remember to follow any exercise or dietary advice your doctor gives you. Chemicals from tobacco can get into your bloodstream and can affect your bones, making bone loss worse. If you smoke, you should make every effort to stop. Ask your doctor or pharmacist for advice on stopping. So the main side effects of these tablets would be indigestion, diarrhea, constipation, headache, muscle and joint pain. And for pregnancy, it's to be avoided in pregnancy. And if you're breastfeeding, also you're to avoid actinel if you're breastfeeding. And for monitoring, correct hypocalcemia before starting. So correct other disturbances of bone and mineral metabolism at the onset of treatment. This will be done by your GP before you start your actinel treatment. If you have any questions, you can contact me through the Life Pharmacist on the website. You can email me or call into Lynch's Pharmacy in Cork. Thank you for watching.